King Yostar, and I'm here today with another tutorial. This time the tutorial is going to be for Ninja Heart Tower. Uh, this is actually a trick that I first saw uh, Hiroyasu Ishihara, for those of you guys who know who that is, also known as Pan. Um, I saw him do it in a video, I believe it was from, maybe it was Japan Nationals 2003 or 2004, I can't remember. Um, basically, it's the idea of using a Ninja Vanish type hold, which for those of you guys who do want to, you know what I'm talking about, um, to get into a heart from offspring, and then switching that to a tower, dropping it, and then catching. So before I begin, I should note that the yo-yo I'm using is a uh, King Yo Star and uh, Monkey Finger Silverback King. Sorry, I forgot the name for a second for some reason. My, my head's like somewhere else. Um, but yeah, uh, it's a Silverback King, and keep in mind I do have this set up with Yo-Yo Jam thick shins inside, so the gap on this is a little wider than your average um, Austrian Yo-Yo, so if you're using a really thin gap Austrian Yo-Yo, you might have some troubles doing this trick, mainly because you're layering multiple strings on top of each other during the heart section of this trick. So if you're using a more responsive Yo-Yo, maybe you might try seeing if you can install shims, or maybe use a little bit more of an unresponsive Yo-Yo for this trick. So to do this trick, um, you're going to start off with a standard off-string hold, and then you're going to place the loose string into your throw hand. Um, alternatively, you could do an instant uh, throw hand hold type catch like this, um, but for the newer off-string players, uh, you can just start with the basic mount and place that into your throw hand like so, so you're in this position. So the next step is a Ninja Vanish. Um, so for you 1A players, you already kind of know the motion of how to do this. Um, but for maybe players who don't know what you're doing, essentially with your free hand up, you're going to be imagining that you're going to make a hook slack over this top string that you see. This top string segment is coming over um, from your throw hand. You're going to want to imagine that you're making a hook loop over the top of that and land into the gap of the yo-yo. So I'll show you that. Here it's going to up and make a slack over the top into the yo-yo. Instantly you're going to find that you're in this sort of a heart formation. And again, this is where I was talking about the responsive yo-yo versus unresponsive yo-yo. This, um, this part of the trick actually has almost three strings in the gap. So if you have a, a kind of a Unresponsive yo-yo is good, but if it's a more responsive off-string yo-yo, you might find that you're going to get some kinks over there. So just something to be aware of and to be careful for. So again, you're essentially doing a ninja vanish. Uh, you can use one finger. Some people like to use two fingers for this. I, I just use one usually. Um, but yeah, you can do two. Hook that slack over the top of this top string and into the gap of the yo-yo. You'll have your heart. Now, to get out of this heart, it's actually pretty easy to get into the tower. All you got to do is move this string that's from your throw hand out from under the yo-yo away from you, like so. Uh, you kind of have to give it a slight hop at that point, um, but you don't have to exaggerate that really too much. You can make it look really cool and instantaneous by just giving a quick kind of drop under it like that. Now you're in the Eiffel Tower and to get out of it is actually really simple. All you gotta do is drop your free hand and everything comes up. Catch the yo-yo and that's pretty much the trick. So again, ninja vanish, you have your heart, move your hand under and let the yo-yo go away from you. You'll have the tower. Drop the head of the tower and it's out, you can catch, and that's the trick. I'll show you. And that is the trick. 
Again, this is Josh Yi for King Yo Star, and I was using the Monkey Finger X King Yo Star Silverback King uh, with a wide gap setup with two gem shims. Um, and yeah, thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I'll be back again for more off string tutorials. Till then, I will see you. Good luck, practice often, and don't crash yo yo's into your animals, because that'll make me really sad, because I like animals. Mm -hmm.